Shad, I have perfected the nunchucks. No, no, you, you can't have perfected the nunchucks because I already have. It's called a stick. Where'd you get that from? I always got one on me. On you, in you, sure. Okay, well, here's the nunchucks. Look, yeah, I made them more deadly. These things are a beast. Let's test them. What the hell is wrong with you? What? Why would you make an abomination like this? Don't no, whoa. no, no. Th this is this is this is disgusting. Don't this bring is, this energy. No, what is this? no. no get, go. Oh. Get. I can't even look at you. I'll do it myself. Go away. Where would you call professionals? Greetings, I am Tyrone. Oh, greetings, I am Nate. And today we are going to be looking at a weapon that is one of Shad's uh, most reviled. He does not like this weapon. Yeah, basically a broken stick. The old nunchucks that he is definitely not a fan of. Nor am I. Now, I'm, I like them from uh, an aesthetic point of view. I like okay. them from like, you know, movie point of view. But I have to agree that there are valid points to them being not that practical when it comes to like things like kinetic linking. Like mm -hmm. it's, how does he put it? A broken stick? Well, well, a broken stick is probably the nicest way Shad puts it, to be honest. All in all, a stick usually just is better. That's not going to deter us from today's video, yeah, though. Yeah, so I thought, why not try and make them a little bit more deadly? Stupid. Yeah, stupid. And I have aptly named them uh, Dumb Chucks. Here yeah. I have hammers. I have hammers with a chain. Me, my <laughs> face is what he has. These are real hammers. Uh, and we real. do have more safety versions depending on what we're doing because I wouldn't call them that but yeah uh, well compared to well, okay, hooks yeah. on hooks on the end of sticks yeah. that you can't control now the reason why I think that these might be a little bit more deadly is first off they have weights at the end they have steel hammers at the end so when it comes to something like a nunchuck a, a, a normal nunchuck yeah they're just usually a stick and all of the kinetic energy that you're hitting with, uh, against someone gets spread out for the most part, over a, a larger area. Yes. And it's made that way, so then when you are using them, when it makes contact on yourself, it's not gonna hurt you. <sighs> this is gonna be focusing all that kinetic energy, hopefully, here, or at least on the Probably heavy, somewhere around part, there. Yeah. I mean, that is dangerous for a start. Like, I don't use nunchucks, so I'm not really adept. Do we have safety chucks? Because I feel like I kind of need uh, yeah. some safety I have chucks. Some children's ones here. That works because honestly, like I've still got to get used to these. But one of the bonuses of nunchucks is they're mostly round or square. So they can orientate in any which way, shape or form. Those, not so much so. If you're swinging them around your body, you're going to quite literally hook yourself. Yeah, I do think that even if these were just like a big piece of steel or just brass, like anything like that. Like a mace, yeah, basically. Yeah, you would basically get the same results, but this was very, very cheap and easy. So we're like, uh, why not? Yeah. So today we're going to be testing, well, we're going to test all the little nunchucks, dumb chucks. We're going to test it all uh, just to see if we get any more force, if we get any more benefits or negatives, because mm. I got a feeling there's going to be both. I'm feeling there's going to be chaos. So to start off with, what we'll do is, well, why don't we do some hits against Boromir? Now, the reason why I want to do this is because I feel like there's an important, a couple important points to address. When you actually hit with a nunchuck, for the most part, <laughs> for the most part, you're just hitting like that. You're trying, you're basically creating a stick. You're trying to get as much speed as you possibly can and straighten that, yes. that rope or that chain. And it doesn't matter which, which side you're coming down from. It's basically just going to be a stick with that's this is why the, one of the problems we say there's no kinetic linking because as soon as you hit there's no more force yeah you can't follow through yeah. so I've got a steel glove on and it's going to become pretty apparent why however because I'm wearing the glove I don't really have dexterity anymore so it's going to be hard for me to you know do all the cool stuff now. sure excuses but see that when you come down for a See how that's basically coming back to my hands. So we can go for a... This is a similar issue that you'll have with something like a flail. Hear that sound when it hits this, but then it's immediately ricocheting off. This is one of the very valid criticisms, I would say, of nunchucks. This is a fair point. So here is the dumb chucks. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna give them a go now. 
Interesting. Was interesting. That was very interesting. The S amount of force that it just in a little action, the amount of force that transferred. Oh. Okay, so that's that's breaking I think, bones. I hopefully we just uh, demonstrated before with the wood ones how when you hit something, there's a definite rebound. There is now, and, and in regards of damage, like I feel like with these ones, you you would you know maybe bruise the bone. You would definitely get a big welt like if you if, got cracked if you in the hit head. someone right here, you'd break their bone. You'd yeah. break. A whole break bunch their of, nose. Yeah, you'd break some stuff. Two important thoughts. First off, because all the weight is at the end, once you hit something, it's heavy enough to just wants to keep going. But even then, it's it doesn't rebound back at you. Mm. It rebounds and drops. It transfers the force into the target. Yeah. Yeah. So it's much more, I would say, controllable. I feel like it's the best way to describe. Really? It. Yes. Mm. So I was able to move it around. It's still terrifying, and I don't want hammers swinging around in my head. But uh, I found it manageable. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. So let's move on to the last one. Now, the, the last one is a bit more, yeah, well done. Last one is a little bit more comical than anything else. The little, the little Thor's hammers? Yeah, the little Thor's hammers. But I want to give it a go. Let's okay. Give it a go. Okay. Now, something to mention with these ones is I don't have enough handle length to uh, move them around, as it, like, you know, try and grab them around. So I'm just going to have to basically just hit with them. That's, that's all they can really do, these ones. That one was a rebound, straight on the hand. If I wasn't wearing steel, that would have hurt. I don't look bad. I hit myself twice. You did? One on the hand, one was a rebound, and that would have very much hurt if I didn't have these on. The second one was in the elbow. I'm not really sure how I got there, but it hurt my elbow. You definitely got there. In terms of damage though, I feel like more that's, than this. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like that's the middle ground between these two, because it's a little more mass, it's obviously on the end. It's not as solid as steel, and it's not you know as focused damage as a small point of steel, but. And do, do keep in mind, these are more comical than anything else. Yeah. But they were they were more effective than that, I would say. Little little Mjolnir's. Yeah, oh, you'd need more handle. We ran out of wood. Ah, oh, yeah. Ran out of wood, so we got little stubby handles. But if I had a longer handle, I think it's a similar situation to them, where if you have a long enough handle, you can sort of massage where it lands on your body, not to hurt you. That sounded weird, but <laughs> but we think we're gonna well, go with I, it. I, I at least I'm gonna pretend I know what he means. <laughs> Uh, but I think that's enough for Boromir. Out of all of them, I would say those win. The hammer chucks, the dumb chucks. You know what? You might be right, because from what I saw, that did seem right. I want to give this a shot, but I don't want to give this a shot on Boromir. I want to try something a bit more explosive. To show you guys some nunchuck stuff, I'm gonna spin these around for a moment. But the point that I wanna get across is that you can spin them around. It looks cool, I like it personally, but it's not really that practical. It doesn't really add that much to anything. Uh, usually, as we saw when it comes to testing, when you actually hit something solid, to bring it back into control, you have to, you have to basically bring the whole thing back and try and get uh, some kinetic energy back into them. To spin them around, it's actually not that hard. And it kind of looks cool for sure, I agree. I definitely agree with this, but for the most part, it's not that practical. I got carried away. You have a mood. Oh, something! <laughs> How are we gonna put this out? Just Come on! That held up like a friggin' beast! No, nah, it was off a bit. It was off a bit. If you liked today's video, and I genuinely hope you are, did you know that you can actually help support the channel and the content that we make here? We have YouTube memberships, Patreon, Subscribestar, Player, they are all available. Over the last couple of months, we've been building a backlog 
backlog of behind the scenes content. Things like Q&As, uh, extra thoughts on videos that we don't want to put on the main channel because they wouldn't really make a full video. All of this stuff is available, so if you like Shadowversity and you want to see more of it, well, if you sign up to any one of those platforms, you'll get access to all of this old content and the new content we make. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching, and thank you to all our supporters who are already signed up. Let's get back to the video. <sighs> um, so it wouldn't be a Shadowversity video on nunchucks if we didn't like channel the fruit ninja and break some fruit, apparently with faces on it this time. Of course. Uh, now all of these different fruit on the back, they actually have what weapon we're going to use for them. Yep, which is nice and easy to see yep. here. You know, you've got your little stick for normal nunchucks, little claw hammer to show when we're using the claw hammer, and the big T for the Mjolnir. Once we've done all the testing, we can actually see what weapon did what to what. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's just get started. Because there's a lot here to cut. Oh, cut. Cut. To smash. smash. To smash. Uh, Let's get smashing. Ooh, that yeah. was fun. That was fun. That was interesting and fun, that's for sure. Like getting to break yeah. stuff. So there were some interesting results that happened. Yeah, even uh, right from the start. Right from the start. And then I suppose we get to the end and we're like, oh, this is de definitely going to break yeah. everything. And there were still some surprising results. Now, just to preface it all of this, for people who, uh, who said, why don't we do like a control against a stick or something like that? Well, funny you should say that because last time Shad did a video, he did nunchuck versus stick. So if you want to see what a nunchuck versus stick looks like, that's fine. For this one, our control is just standard nunchucks, nunchucks. normal ones. Uh, so starting off, let's talk about them. Well, they performed about as expected. Like you get enough speed, mm. it creates force. You can do some damage. What we found is that on the water bottles, at least it didn't really do much. Yes. Sent them flying. So maybe the way I would maybe describe crap. nunchucks in at least what we put it through is they are a good uh, general weapon. Yeah. They, they're not going to excel at anything. But they're also easy to use, they're faster to use, there's less chance of you hurting yourself. But Compa that, comparative to this, not comparative, comparative to a stick. Yes, uh, but at the same time, you're not going to get as much punch out Yeah, of you don't get as much bang for your buck as what you will with a stick. But in general, especially compared to what else we're using, yeah. they performed about what we expected. Yeah. However... Then we move on to these. Yeah, now this is where it starts to get interesting, because mm. we got to things like the water bottles. And what we found is that a lot of the water bottles seemed to crack. Now that pressure point... Now, I've got a feeling, uh, when I look at the slow-mo, we haven't looked at the slow-mo, obviously, uh, I reckon when we look at it though, I reckon it's going to be the sharp edges that actually were what did that. I think so too, but I also think that it started to show what the true potential of this is, which is a lot of force pushing on the bottle yeah. and a weak point of the bottle just giving because yeah. the water needs to go somewhere. So. Uh, Let's let's talk about because we we did uh, we did rock melon we did uh, so we did rock melon cantaloupe and coconut and coconut now or honeydew the, honeydew uh, oh, I don't like melons like this anyway so the two fruits <laughs> they're fruits right they are fruits the two, fr the two fruits did about exactly what you expect they're going to break under that sort of pressure yep. no matter what it is no. for the most part and we specifically bought fruits that had a harder and harder shell or harder yeah. and harder skin right so let's jump right to the coconuts now all of these weapons weapons 
uh, broke the coconut. They did, and they broke it in varying degrees. The nunchucks kind of just cracked it in half. Yes. It's like what we expected. When we got to the Thor chucks, the Mjolnir chucks. They were really good. They were really good and they broke it into a few fractions. Yeah. We got to the hammer chucks and um, I was having trouble finding fragments bigger than that. So the hammer chucks were an mm. interesting one. There's a couple of points I'm going to bring up here. First off, with the water bottles, it was very interesting because I wasn't able to get it to uh, to pop. No, I had a bit more consistent. I think I had three shots at water bottles and mm. two out of three I got it to pop. But yeah. when I did, where I impacted was not where it popped. Yeah. Like you can see that that's a full explosion. Let's actually, so Nathan, can you like zoom in on that? You can see that's a full, like it just pushed the pressure out of the bottom. That's a similar result to what we got. Yeah. With everyone, yours yeah. popped off the top, mine popped off the now, bottom. Now, so what happened was, I I think it's fair for me to say that I was putting more force in with a with a with a normal strike. Yep. I yep. was putting more force in, and I wasn't able to get it to pop. And As I often. was, and this was the interesting part because, well, why are you able to get it to pop and I wasn't? Because you were definitively putting more force in than yeah. what I was. So what I did is I did a couple of backhand strikes, which are less force. Now, I don't think it was less force. I just, this is one of those things where we're really just going to have to look at the slow mode mm. to really try and get See it. See what happens. Adventure. Yeah, because I was able to, out of the, I think I did two, maybe three. Two, three, end. and you got two of them pretty much first. Oh, I think even, one of them didn't. It did. It, it, it was just a... a it cracked it. Yeah, it cracked oh, okay, it. Okay. It wasn't a definitive explosion. It was more like, more like what, what yeah. we got out of the, the Mjolnir chucks. So the hammers with the water bottles was very interesting. Uh, it was able to pop them open, but for some reason, when I did a different strike, it didn't work. When I put more pressure into it... It didn't work. Maybe yeah. because you were trying to get that kinetic linking and it just wasn't but, there. But like, just naturally trying to get it. The thing was, we did check the, a bit of the slow-mo as we were doing it, because we were trying to figure out what was going on. And I was hitting it bang on, every single time so it wasn't like i was missing or it was off or anything mm. like that. i just don't know on this one don't know don't know but when we got to the to the cantaloupes and the rock melons or the the whatever they are those fruit when we got up to when we got up to there with these destroyed it absolutely by, like we ended up with that magnitude your um yeah. you got a little smile left yeah, yeah. that's about it but a lot of it and it was pretty much as would expect as you would expect you know split it open a bit mm. split it open a lot smashed it like absolutely yeah. smashed it now i'm not sure how much of it will come off uh, in camera right but when you when you hold it and you feel it you felt with that you felt a break when yeah. you were hitting sure yeah. but with this it was a definite like, you felt it smash yeah. you absolutely felt it smash now going up to the coconut it was kind of interesting so as much as these are absolutely great the hammer chucks as soon as the target provides a bit of resistance okay mm. so this one has a little bit as you can see this is broken a little bit broken there was slow-mo this broke honestly now, honestly where that used the tyrant here hitting hard when we heard the impact of something hitting the fence i just thought it was the coconut yeah. i thought you just sent the coconut for six but now okay so, apparently you sent the hammer for six so all right there's a couple of uh, this caveats a bit, yeah a bit a couple of caveats first off these i'm not even joking when i say this to you cost us seven dollars each <laughs> these hammers are cheap cheap two hammers. for ten yeah when well, we caught it we kind of bought them for that reason because yeah. they are very light and that's kind of what we wanted we wanted all the weight here yeah we now, don't we didn't want to necessarily turn up with like you know small yeah. mallets and yeah. just not be able to do the test so thing. by necessity it means this wood is a little bit not as strong as something a bit more premium Let's absolutely but even if it was premium it still brings up the valid point of this you hits. have too much weight on the end of a stick yes. and all of a sudden that force stops and so when that hits something like here the weight wants to keep going yes yeah so it's kind of in a weird spot where there's a double caveat this is a cheap hammer so i expect this to break i didn't want it to but but in warfare or zombie yeah. apocalypse or whatever if this is what you've got you have to expect these results but then at the same time just because of physics if you hit it somewhere like here, a little bit down, it's probably gonna break. Oh. So it's a, it's a two for one on that one. Uh, but these are actually really, really a lot more functional than I thought they would be. Yeah, and I feel Same like these. I feel like if these had have been designed a bit more for purpose, like you know maybe some steel struts yeah, down yeah. or something. A bit to, like on a halberd, how you can. Yeah, you can, yeah and you can and yep, yep. maybe a bit more like a mace with a flange head, rather than a definitive sides, a bit more yep. omnidirectional. I agree. I think these can work. So when it comes to these ones. I think they were actually really a really good middle ground and they were actually yeah. very solid. The only issues we had with them were issues that are our, our, our fault, basically. We made these with shorter handles simply because we didn't have enough. <laughs> we, we, didn't have, wood. we didn't have enough wood. Dwar uh, I want to call these dwarf chucks. If we're going to talk about functionality score for today, I think hands down the winner is <sighs> these because they didn't break. 
and I have to go with what didn't yeah, break. Yeah, all right, all right. And on a functionality score, what are you thinking, Nate? Where are you thinking they go? This is going to sound sarcastic, da, 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 da. but I don't mean it sarcastically. Solid five. Solid five. Solid five. In a pinch, the fact that you've got that little bit extra weight, mm. but it is controllable, yep. and it won't hurt you as much as it will hurt the opponent. It's not as fast as nunchucks. I actually feel like this is a bit more effective. This would be a three or a four. This would be a five. Maybe a four. Five. Maybe a four. I reckon a solid five is a fair number. I would probably maybe go for a little bit of a six, simply mm. because if, if the design, if it wasn't our fault, the design was not as good as it should be, like a little bit longer handles, maybe reduce the size of these heads a touch, just a little bit, maybe round them off so they're not so sharp. I maybe, think it would be solid. Maybe I'm biased. I don't like the idea of giving anything that is articulated any score over five. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me. But what do you guys think? Well, I'm not going to let my bias take it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> but uh, what that, do you guys think? Yeah, like, would these think? would these be like you know what are standard nunchucks? What are hammer chucks? And what about the the dwarven chucks? What do you guys think? Like, let us know in the comments. And if you wanted to check out a video, there is like I said before, there's a video of Shad ah. testing nunchucks versus stick or just nunchucks. Now, be warned if you're a fan of nunchucks. You may not like this one. <laughs> if you're a fan of Shad, you probably know where he's going to go, but at least it's tested. Yeah, Speaking of which, here, yeah, here. let's go actually test this. I'll use the chucks, use the stick. Video's here. Good no, luck. I want to use these. What? Uh, no, I want to steal stick then. <laughs>